Sorry, I mean, I'm just squeaking a little bit. Oh. It's my kilt, sorry. Quite disturbing. <laughs> I'm Graham McTavish. And I'm Sam Hewan, and Graham invited me to visit his adopted home in New Zealand for Clanlands. I did, you came, and did we it. thought it would be fun to compare and contrast New Zealand uh -huh. with the land that we both know and love. So, so this is Scotland versus New Zealand. <laughs> Which country is more welcoming? Scotland or New Zealand? Well, I don't is know that, what accent was is. That, was that a New Zealand accent? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been there and I can't yeah. do the accent. I think New Zealand is more welcoming. Mm. Very welcoming. Mm. And when I recently just got to Scotland, actually last week, uh, the car broke down, the taxi broke down on the motorway. That wasn't very welcoming. Okay, so that's a negative for Scotland. Yeah. I've never had a car breakdown from the airport in New Zealand. Done. So New Zealand. It's New Zealand. New Zealand is the most welcoming. Because their cars don't break down. Yeah. Yeah. Which country is the best for a crazy night out? Crazy. Scotland or New Zealand? Do you have many of those? I don't. No. No, I'm, mm. not, I'm not an expert on crazy nights out. No. You may I, be more than I me. don't remember many crazy nights out. In, well, that doesn't mean you didn't experience them. It just means I, you didn't remember. I'm going to say Scotland, hands down. They love to go out. They have crazy That's nights true. out. There's no way that you yeah. could beat a night out in Glasgow in terms of craziness. You might not remember it. Which country, this is a good one, had the better accommodation, Scotland or New Zealand? Mm. I would say in New Zealand, we, we stayed in some beautiful places. We did. Rotorua being one of them in the, you know, above the lake there. Well, you had a very nice yeah. place. I, I got the suite, didn't I, with like a hot tub and... Yeah, you had the lake view. Yeah. I was in some sort of concrete bunker. Yeah. Black Barn was very nice. Black Barn oh, is nice. Oh. It's not just a Black Barn. It actually has got nice things. It was very, very going. beautiful. But we Scotland had... has some incredible hotels that are in castles. If you're going for history, yeah, Scotland. If you want a historical setting, which country has the better weather? Scotland or New Zealand? I mean, I don't even really need to spend much time answering this question because it, it is New Zealand. Yes, it's better in New Zealand. It is better. Scotland's weather is, is pretty poor. If, unless you like rain. I love rain, so. Do earthquakes count as weather? Ah, that's a good point. You never told me when we were going there that they had earthquakes. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not something you would go, hey, by the way, yeah. come on over to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Might yeah. experience an earthquake. If that counts as weather. Yeah, Scotland doesn't really get earthquakes. Scotland edges ahead. Yeah, I think it's a win. A win for Scotland. It was yeah. the earthquakes that tipped it. The earthquakes it. did it. Yeah. It was the earthquakes. Which country has the better view? Scotland or New Zealand? Better views. Better views. Look, Scotland has amazing, it has the Absolutely. highlands, it has the sky and on all those great mountain ranges that we have visited and talked about in our books. Mm. But if you have a mountain range called the, the Remarkables, Remarkables, I yeah. mean, it's pretty remarkable, right? Yeah. And New Zealand has more variety in its landscape. My vote yeah. is New Zealand. I can't, I can't go in New Zealand. Sorry. Mine, mine's Scotland. Which country is more likely to kill you? Hmm. Mm, I think that's pretty easy. Do you? Yeah. It's New Zealand, isn't it's it? It's got to be New Zealand. They yeah. seem to design their leisure sports around the possibility of death. Oh, I hadn't even thought of leisure sports. Yeah. Could you just mean just things wildlife. that live there? Yeah, I mean, wildlife-wise, things are going to kill you there. What? But it's incredibly benign. What, the flightless birds are going to savage you uh, to Yeah, death. and the great white sharks, very benign. Okay. Oh, they're uh, lovely. They're, I recommend okay. swimming with a great white okay. shark. Okay. Lovely. Now, this is one for you. Which country has the better food? Why is it Scotland or New Zealand? Why is it for me? Because you're an um, Epicurean. I just like to know when food is coming. No. We've had some really great food in Scotland. We had incredible, it's got the most amazing produce. It, from seafood to, to venison to, the, to yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing producers. But New Zealand. Different kinds of fish. So, who wins? Um, I think Scotland. I'm gonna agree with you, Scotland wins. Which country has funnier people, Scotland or New Zealand? I mean, I, I have laughed in New Zealand. <laughs> I don't spend the whole time in New Zealand like just straight. Wow. Aye, rubbish. So funny. No one's funny. I can't stop thinking about Billy Connolly. I can't stop. No, thinking I know, about him. I know. He trumps everything, doesn't he? Um, he does. They they have a very similar sense of humour to the Scots, and yeah. are very very funny as a result. Very funny. Yeah. So. I see you're, we're going with this. We're going with New Zealand. New Zealand, definitely. Totally said that with a straight face. 100%. Which country has the better drink options, slash cocktails, mm. slash general mm. booze? Scotland mm. or New Zealand? It's a tough one. You're actually... No. Yes. Nothing. 
Here's the last one. Or well, might not be in the edit. <laughs> Which country produces the better actors, Scotland or New Zealand? This is not designed to insult New Tread Zealand. Tread very carefully. Try and imagine James Bond being played by a New Zealander. I'm gonna leave that with you. What if he does a good accent? Just try, my name's Bond, James Bond. Yeah? Yeah. Also, we are very biased. We are very biased, yeah. yeah. So, everyone should try and visit both Scotland right. and New Zealand. Absolutely. And, and if you want to find out about our adventure, please, Listen to Clanlands in New Zealand on Audible. <laughs>